if you have a BlackBerry and you don't have a good data plan, or you do, I strongly suggest using Google Maps over any other mapping system. Um, and you can access it through Wi-Fi, and there's a couple other apps you can do this as well. You can load it onto your phone, and then you can bypass the data plan with your BlackBerry by just having the Maps, the Google Maps app on your device, and I just use it constantly, right? I can check traffic, um, you know, in the GTA where there's sensors in the highways and, um, and it, it actually uh, indicates where you are on the road. So it's, it's uh, really helpful. That's, that's pretty much the only app I really use on my BlackBerry. Uh, um, you know, I was trying to figure out how to connect our iPads to a projector. And there's Apple TV, but Apple TV only connects to certain apps. Right? And it won't connect directly out of your device. So if you're interested, this is a HDMI cable. And uh, you can get this little adapter, um, which is about 30 bucks. So uh, this is making this presentation possible. I went on YouTube, and I typed in how to connect iPad directly to projector. Somebody came on and they were like, yeah, buy this and connect it, right? Um, there's also VGA adapters, um, but you, HDMI allows you to send everything, sound, video, so it's, it's HDMI is, is uh, faster as well. BBC Music, if you don't have this app, get this app. It's awesome, right? So you can uh, just load it up, um, you can stream radio uh, live, um, and you can stream like, oh man, I think they said like over 300 different streams. So, um, and you know, it's, it's almost endless. And it's great because you can play it while you're doing other things. And it even detects, you know, when you go onto the internet and you uh, go into a YouTube video, it will detect that you're going into YouTube video, it will, it will shut off. And then when you're done playing the YouTube video, sometimes it will just resume where you left off or you have to go back into your CBC app and start it up again. So I go to CBC Radio 3. Um, on CBC Radio 3 is like all of the indie music that's happening in Canada. It's awesome. Like it covers such a broad array of amazing music. Um, I wouldn't have known about Hannah Georges if it wasn't for CBC Radio 3. And she's awesome. Recently I found BBC News and um, a lot of these news apps allow you to link to Twitter accounts. Some are very intelligent in that they'll pick up what kind of uh, uh, accounts you already have loaded into your mobile device. So again, I'm using an iPad, uh, and uh, this may be applicable to uh, Android devices as well as the Playbook, etc. Um, so you know, you can. Uh, a lot of these apps allow you to. Actually, this is a, and and some apps are are better to view one mode than the other, and it just depends what your personal preference is. So, you know, I, I usually like to check out technology as a way to posting something to our app dev Twitter account, um, and, uh, you know, Facebook, uh, something about Facebook to stop piracy votes. Um, and in the top right corner, uh, there's a different link for different pages. One is like this square with an arrow coming out of it, that's usually to link you to some other account, send an email. Uh, BBC uh, and, and others uh, have this kind of three-pronged icon at the top. So you can share it to Twitter. Some uh, actually integrate directly with your Twitter account or, or other accounts, and um, you can start typing in um, you know, uh, someone's name, and it, it will pick up what, what the name is, and, and then you can just uh, s choose uh, what account. So on my <laughs> iPad, I have several different Twitter accounts, and we'll, we'll check that out in a bit. Um, but you know, I could select App Dev Peterborough or another account that I have, um, and uh, add a location, right, where you are. Um, some of this requires internet co connectivity. Actually, sending it to your Twitter account requires connectivity to the internet. And then you know, I'll just click send and. Twitter has recently updated their, their Twitter account. Maybe this is a little bit better. Uh, you can have different accounts on this. So I, sh I share one account with my wife, and then I have my 
personal and my other business and, and then app dev Peterborough, right? So I can really easily navigate between different accounts. Connect uh, where the at symbol is, allows you to see who's connected with us lately. Let's see it again. <laughs> there we go. Rick Maradu is connected with us recently. Thank you. So we'll follow him. And uh, there we go. If you're at an event and you find a hashtag, it means this term is trending. And then whoever searches for that hashtag will see a stream of different tweets that, uh, and yours could be one of them. One really neat secret that I'd I love to show, you know, if you're scrolling down, you're like, you know, you may get really far down and you may not want to like scroll all the way back up. So uh, if you touch the top where the time is, it will just pull you right back to the top. The last app I really want to show you um, is uh, Thank You Pro. And I've sent cards to people through this, and it's really cool. Um, yeah, see, they're not compatible this way. So you can you know, select a card, um, and it's only available in iPhone format, right? So it shrinks it down onto your iPhone. Bottom right hand corner of the book. Yeah. And then it pixelates a little bit. I like it to be pretty. But uh, yeah, for the purpose of this, we'll, we'll uh, open it up. So you can write a note to people. Um, hi, and if you're done, you can add a logo, you can add a signature. So I, you know, you could create a new signature and throw it in there and then find the logo. Um, I don't have any on hand. And then, uh, you know, you can send it. And it'll prompt you, you know, do you want to send a real card by mail, send it by email, share it on Facebook.